Hi, I'm Vangelis Vasiliadis, I'm the CTO of Agrostis and I'm pitching for iPharma. iPharma is an integrated cloud and mobile collaboration solution for farmers, farmer groups and their agronomists. Together with my partner Athanasios Sapunas, we founded Agrostis two years ago. Athanasios is an agriculture engineer, I am an IT professional, we both have more than 20 years of experience in our fields. Farming is becoming more and more demanding. It is mandatory by regulations that farmers keep detailed farm logs and follow best practices. Markets and consumers demand certified farms and product traceability. Cost of inputs increases and competition puts pressure in profit margins. The market size, it is global. In Greece alone, there are more than 200,000 farmers, 13.7 million in the EU. What is more important, the average farm size is 12 hectares. They are small farms you are run by individuals or families who do not have the uh, resources to buy uh, expensive IT solutions. In the last, uh, over the last uh, two years, a number of cloud and mobile applications have emerged to deal with this market. They offer farm, field, crop and financial management. We meet and exceed the competition by additional collaboration features. Our solution iPharma is a feature-rich farm management application. It provides fields, mapping, GPS tracking, crop and task activity management and financial management with powerful profitability and cost analysis features. iPharma is, has two unique uh, uh, competitive advantages, group management and agronomist farmer collaboration. The agronomist sets the guidelines and the farmer confirms and executes and confirms the compliance. How do we engage with our customers? Directly online through their groups and uh, cooperatives via agronomist and agro-consulting firms. iPharma is available on a subscription basis at low market competitive rates. One year since launch and we have 5,000 application downloads and have signed seven farmer groups with 2,500 members. We ask for 2,000 k euros, therefore 200,000 200, euros to achieve um, break-even in the next 12 to 15 months. Three reasons why to invest in iPharma, a strong team with proven record of setting goals and achieving results in the last two years, a feature-rich already developed application with unique collaboration characteristics and a global market potential. Thank you. All right, and Gabe, we'll start with the Q&A. Thanks. Uh, I'm curious, is there, you, you showed a lot of competitors. Is there a Google? Is there someone who has a huge chunk of the market share? Excuse me, I didn't, I didn't hear your... Sure. You, you showed that there were a lot of people competing in the same field. Uh, is there a Google? Is there someone who, who is dominating? No. So what would you say your market share is? Where? Uh, given the fact that we are only active in Greece, um, I cannot tell and I cannot compare with the market size of uh, uh, partners so who are who are just competitors. Just in Greece, who are uh, in Greece, our market size in Greece, we don't have competition. Yeah. I'm not sure I fully understood what the features and functions of the software are. Is it? Uh, actually guiding me driving the tractor? Is it engaging the, so to speak, operating P&L of the farm, managing the seed and input costs against the crop revenue? Or is it just those very few features you showed us? Well, uh, actually it's uh, not, uh, it's, it's an application that does everything or records everything. Well, what de please define everything. Yes, everything means from harvesting, means all the activities, means financial management, means planning, scheduling, uh, uh, compliance with certifications, all the, all the activities that a farmer does are captured, tracked and reported. Thank you. Also, also has uh, uh, computational tools, iPharma, like uh, prediction uh, 
uh, tools, profit prediction tools, and other tools that can be used in situ in the field or from agronomists. What is the cost to the farmer, and does this apply to all farmers, or they should be of some scale in order to be able to buy your uh, product? The cost of the application on a subscription basis is 200 uh, euros per year for the full version, cloud and mobile. Just the cloud version on a, on a, on a, on a, on a PC, it's for 60, 60 euros a year. It's very competitive. What, is, what has up to now been your biggest obstacle in penetrating the Greek market? And what has been your biggest obstacle in uh, reaching to the global market that you are claiming? Yeah, in the Greek market, uh, the main problem is that it's, it's a completely new product. And uh, our growers uh, have not uh, 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 the knowledge, the background, and also uh, it's, it's not in their tradition, let's say, to, to use these uh, ICT tools. There is a need. The product has been developed together with the growers, so uh, it was not a case study. After we developed the products, we tested the products for almost one year with eight big farmers in North Greece and also in Central of, of Greece. And we saw that there, there is a need, but you should go there, discuss with them, and integrate their needs to, to your product. This is our way of uh, approaching, uh, let's say, this, this pr problem, but it's still a problem. In the global market, it's, uh, I, I can't say at the moment. The product has been translated in English already, and we try to integrate the global market uh, with first, first priority to the markets like Italy, uh, Spain, uh, Bulgaria, and uh, Turkey, which has the same, more or less, characteristics like the, the primary production sector in Greece. The, the applications, they depend on the user input. So the subscribers themselves, they actually input the data themselves and de depend on this to process the data in some way and give them some results. Exactly. Yes. So um, I understand from before that you've had some difficulty explaining the product to, the, to your target audience, which maybe might not be extremely savvy with... Uh, with uh, uh, te technology, okay? So, uh, is, there, is there a way that, uh, do you have a, any kind of uh, testing uh, environment that they can use? Do you have any kind of trial period that they can use? And, okay, so. The application is uh, free for download yes. and uh, trial completely, uh, complete uh, features for one month. And after that, there is a, an, a large part of the functionality of the application is on a, on a freemium, let's say, model, so they can continue using it um, uh, forever, or the free, the free versions, and uh, once they uh, decide to uh, subscribe, they have the full version. Thank you. Thank and now we'll do some advice. Me? Sure. Okay. Well, that would have been my advice. Uh, I, I see you have it for free. I would, uh, I would advise that uh, since you're a subscription, product, you're a subscription business, that you uh, try, to, try to approach uh, this as, like a, as, um, as a subscription business. So you need to actually keep track of your subscribers, see their usab the usability of the product. And uh, I don't know what you do, I didn't have time to ask you, but uh, the user experience in subscriber uh, uh, products is uh, the absolute uh, key. So. So they need to keep getting value from your, uh, but you also need to keep adding new subscribers. So you have retention, you have new subscriber acquisition, and, uh, and in order to get new subscriber acquisition, you need to get awareness uh, for the product. So uh, I would say that since uh, that you should a little bit reduce the market size because 200,000 200, farmers in Greece are, who are able to use this as providing input in this application, it's probably too high a number. Oh. So, so maybe you need to focus on, on the agronomists and the, and the cooperatives. So if you sell to the cooperatives, maybe then the subscription model is different. You sell, you sell like uh, gross. Uh, yes. uh, 
if you believe really in your product, I think you should look outside Greece because Greece is a small market, so you should be looking at the global market. We need money for that. Yep. I also think you have to dramatically narrow your customer target. My guess is farms of 10 or 20 hectares and below are not sophisticated enough to use the information. Farms at, say, 500 or 1,000 hectares and above have been doing this for 20 years with heavy old mainframe and desktop computers. And I would encourage you to narrow your target, number one, and number two, to bolt on extensive training, webinars, videos, uh, help guides, pop-ups all over the damn site because ease of use is gonna make this product successful or not. I want to second the suggestion to get outside of Greece, but I recommend getting outside of Greece really quickly. I know you need money to do it, but it looks to me like your competitive advantage is, uh, is a few small innovations that are nice, but I don't think there's a barrier to stop somebody else incorporating those. And so if you build, uh, build a reputation here and, and build market share, your competitors can see that uh, and, and get out in front of you before you get outside of Greece. So you probably need to get out fast if you're going to take advantage of that. Thank you. Thank you so much.